Hi, my name is Michelle, and in January of 2019, I went for my mammogram. I was taking care of my New Year's resolution, which was to find a primary care doctor and get my mammogram. Um, little did I expect that I would come home with a diagnosis of triple positive breast cancer on January 23rd of 2019. I was in complete shock. It rocked my world. Um, was something that did not I did not have a family history of. I had no signs and symptoms. Um, so to be told that I had a tumor and I needed to get a lumpectomy and you know start down this path, I, I was in complete shock. I couldn't believe um, the diagnosis, and and I I remember that day when I was told, I, I couldn't believe it. I said, I need to see the mammogram. Show me, show me where this mass is. Um, I thought you must have, you must have me confused with the other patient that was in here. Um, so unfortunately I did see the difficult image and the reality that I was about to embark on. Um, at the same time, I, you know, was um, being seen at Mainline Health um, as well as Fox Chase Cancer Center um, amazing medical institutions and doctors that really, you know, came together with a phenomenal treatment team. But a resource that they had shared with me was Unite for Her. And there was a wellness day that was coming up in February and they encouraged me to attend it and said, you know, Michelle, you'll, you'll get lots of great resources and information here to really help you on this journey. Um, so I, before I had surgery, I went to the wellness day um, at Riddle Hospital and met Sue Weldon and the entire Unite for Her team, was impressed by all the knowledge and information that they were sharing about the journey. It was such a wonderful opportunity to connect with other women that were like me, all dealing with this diagnosis and various stages of, of the journey. And I sat there and listened about all the, you know, acupuncture and massage and, and diet and, and things that were really going to help me. But of course, on the inside, I thought, oh, these are wonderful gifts that, you know, Unite for Her is giving me, but I'm tough. I'm not going to need these, you know, ha this journey. I I'm going to be just fine. Well, as I started to embark on my chemo treatment, no sooner after my first treatment, I realized how much I needed this Unite for Her community. And that passport was such a blessing to open up and to be able to call upon acupuncture massage, um, enjoy the fresh share of vegetables on some of those days when I finally got my appetite back. Um, I realized why Sue and all of the Unite for Her community is there to support someone like myself and all the other women out there that are battling breast cancer. Um, I, I felt so blessed and I really learned to appreciate so much as I went down this path. Um, you know, I remember the morning after I was diagnosed that I went outside with my dogs and I just breathed in that fresh, cold January air and, and I just had such a new appreciation for life. And again, the gifts that Unite for Her was giving me on this journey were helping me through those really tough mornings and days when the journey was difficult. And I feel fortunate and I really am so passionate about participating in Bloom to help pay it forward to other women that have received this diagnosis and are really challenged on this path. And again, the wellness and all of the support provided by this community um, is, is just tremendous. So again, I you know want to thank Unite for Her. I want to thank all of my colleagues and friends and my neighbors and community that came together to support me on this tough journey. But in particular, my children, um, my daughter, Emma, and my son, Jack, who have just been by my side, just like Unite for Her on this journey. So um, from me to all of you, thank you. And, and please continue to provide your donations and support to help Unite for Her. And help support other women like myself in the community um, with the gifts of Unite for Her. So thank you.